Hello friends, this is Tushar Gupta welcoming you to Learn Easy. Today's video is based on the experiment of cathode rays. So, for this experiment, you should know what a discharge tube is. A discharge tube is a tube in which two electrodes they are having uh, connect uh, two electrodes this discharge tube is having and it is having a small uh, side open small tube to reduce the pressure of the discharge tube fine this discharge tube is approximately 60 centimeters I mean this, this not this discharge tube but the normal discharge tube it is approximately 60 centimeters long and 5 centimeters diameter is there of this tube so what JJ Thompson had done in the, his experiment he was having a discharge tube two electrodes as usual one cathode and the other one anode yes fine they both were connected to a very high voltage source fine and you know that this tube is always existing in this discharge tube so this end was open as a tube and was connected to the vacuum pump which had sucked the air not not the air but had reduced the pressure of the discharge tube fine the current atmospheric pressure uh, sorry the pressure in the discharge tube currently that uh, when the the experiment was started it was 1 atm which is equal to 760 millimeters of hydragyrum or mercury fine this is symbolized as hg so it was gradually reduced to 1 mm of mercury or hg hydragyrum then it was finally reduced to 0 0.001 millimeters of hydragyrum a very very small amount fine so what happened next was this was the atmosphere uh, this was the pressure of the discharge tube and as air is a bad conductor it did not conduct electricity at this pressure this pressure was rejected this pressure was chosen by air to send the cathode rays so this was the pressure to send the cathode rays at this pressure the electricity it passed through the air so at this pressure the rays i mean uh, rays from the cathode the negatively charged uh, electrode they passed through this they went in a straight direction and moved to the anode rays uh, sorry anode which is the positively charged uh, electrode so from here we get that cathode rays are negatively charged as soon as these cathode rays they strike uh, they strike the uh, discharge tubes end what happened that they produced a faint green fluorescence Fla a faint green shine was there on this uh, this side so this was the experiment conducted by JJ Thompson which had proved that cathode rays they are negatively charged they travel in straight line fine and also if we add some negative electric field of course electric field is always negative i mean uh, of course if we add electric field these discharge tubes would uh, th sorry these rays would be deflected to the opposite side of the tube fine and would produce the faint green fluorescence over there similar was the case with the magnet fine if magnet is added they would fall like this fine these are the properties of the cathode rays that they are negatively charged travel in a straight line they travel with the speed of approximately the speed equal to the speed of light fine so this was the experiment of cathode rays through which jj thompson had concluded that that atoms they are having some negative particles in them so thank you keep watching learn easy and stay tuned please like and share this video amongst your friends and very very thank you please i'm saying again stay tuned